You seem to be really struggling today, Gail. I know. I slept very badly last night and I'm feeling a bit tired. Well, it's only two more weeks before we run in the London Marathon. You'll need to be on top form. Yes, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I hope you're not getting cold feet. We've been training for months now. No, I'm sure I'll be fine. You seem to be really struggling today, Gail. I know. I slept very badly last night and I'm feeling a bit tired. Well, it's only two more weeks before we run in the London Marathon. You'll need to be on top form. Yes, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I hope you're not getting cold feet. We've been training for months now. No, I'm sure I'll be fine. If you get cold feet, you suddenly become too frightened to do something you had planned to do, especially something important, such as getting married. The bride was left in tears when the groom got cold feet at the last minute. The origin of this expression isn't at all clear. On the face of it, there doesn't seem to be any obvious connection with the literal meaning of cold feet and the meaning of the phrase. One theory is that to get cold feet originally referred to soldiers who avoided battle by complaining that their feet were frozen. <laughs>